Hey what's guys and welcome to another Real Madrid review. I've never I mean I probably have made a review so quickly. It is seven AM in the morning and for the past few hours we start streaming and then we ended a few hours ago and then you know what I mean we're just streaming in the early morning so talk about that. If you guys don't already know I stream on Twitch, link down below. Please do come over here, drop us a follow, and of course hit the bell. And to go about hitting a bell, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell as well, and drop a like. Anyways, another 2 1 win, that's our third 2 1 win in a row. We won 2 1. Who do we want 2 1 against? I can't remember. I can't remember. But all I know is it's a third 2 1 win in a row. Oh, sorry, sorry. We won 2 1 against Alche. 2 1 against Shaggy Donetsk and now 2 1 against Juan Vallecano. We actually won 2 1 against Barcelona before the, uh, no, before the Osasuna game as well. So, lots of 2 1 wins for us and against Valencia. There's a whole lot of 2 1 wins this season already, man. But, anyways, we take the wins, right? Um, wow, I mean, I looked at the game and we were quite dominant in the first half. We had 2 goals. It was um, a deflected pass from Asensio and a nice shot vo volleyed home from Cruz. Not a full volley, but you know, you know what I mean. And Benzema made it to you know, a nice pass forward. He remained onside just about and made it to you know? And then, you know, we had a couple of chances. I saw in that second half, man, like since the start of the second half to, I want to say, on the 70th minute. You know, we were looking like we were going to score a third, fourth, fifth, maybe even a fifth to be fair. Like, we, we should have scored. I mean, Vinny went for a spectacular attempt. Couldn't quite. Um, and there were just more chances that we didn't take that cost us a third goal as well. Um, and then they, they hit the post, Marvelicano, in the 75th minute. And then... Foul call Scott. Hey, Scott against Barca, now scores against Madrid as well. He's still doing it. He's still doing it, man. I'm really surprised. I was surprised when he signed me by the car in the first place. But um, when we consider, I was actually quite sort of disappointed we don't get a clean sheet or we didn't get a clean sheet. But also, like, we probably could have done better in that situation, but we didn't. And that is, like, the worry this season for me. You know, ever since the likes of Ramos and Veran left, our backline has been really shaky most of the time. I mean, I'm looking at Militon Alaba, Nacho, as the three centre backs that plays, and the only one I see making it, getting in the effort is Alaba. Like, no disrespect, and I don't want to be rude to Nacho and Militon, right? I think they're fantastic player, great individuals, great team players. Militao, of course, still has a bright future there with Nacho, with what he's proven with us. He, did, he hasn't necessarily like, done every single thing by himself, but he was part of a squad that won trophies, La Liga, Champions League. So he's got experience, right? But this season, I think that Militao and Nacho just hasn't been it. I mean, Alaba has been doing all the job. I mean, score against Barca, tick, assist, tick. Doing well defensively, tick. And what else do you want from a player who plays as like a left winger for Austria national team? And you know, of course, him coming into the system because he used to be play as sometimes a left back, mainly a left back, but sometimes even a defensive midfielder that can allow him to push forward. But now he's playing as he knows that coming to Real Madrid with legs of almost and Van Leeuwen, he has to play at a centre back role to help out defensively, right, because we just can't every single game play Militao Nacho, Militao Nacho and Vallejo, if we played him, you know what would have happened, I'm not going to talk more about it and yeah, um, so I think that Militao, I think he needs to be consistent that's why I think he needs to be and then Nacho, I think that he sort of needs to, need to do better defensively. I think that he doesn't cover up enough for us. 
I mean, it's a sort of a similar kind of situation, but everything is on Alaba because Alaba like defense blocks, going to try to block the shot, interception, and all. And I hope that changes. I hope that you know we get to see the team do better. And this is a, this isn't me going to say, oh my god, I hope we send new sort of like in January. I think with what we have got, we're going to utilize it at the moment. I mean, we are about two months away from the window. So we're not going to talk about transfers when it's out of the window, but anything can happen, of course. Um, but yeah, Tony Cruz scoring his first goal this season um, as well. I was actually quite shocked when I saw him scoring, um, but that was a really nice goal, I think. Asensio, I, I feel like, you know, a few of our players have been linked with him for ways. Asensio has been one of them, Jovic has been one of them as well. With Asensio, I think that he just needs to play more, and I don't think that's what we can offer him at Real Madrid. I think that if he plays week in, week out, or not every single game, because of course there are some Champions League fixtures, league fixtures, but he can't necessarily play every day. He can't. But what I think that he could give is, you know, he needs to play to give, basically. If you want to get the best out of Asensio, he has to play, right? He's not necessarily Hazard, who, let's be honest, we have given Hazard a, a whole bunch of chances, but he just hasn't done well with it, I guess. He didn't take those chances. I mean, whenever he does get a chance, he hasn't done really that well with it. Um, so you can understand why. Um, but yeah, for me, personally, Asensio, he needs to go to a side, unless we decide to say, you know what, Asensio, you're going to get the right wing spot. And... I kind of spoke about this before. I don't know if it's a, 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 a career mode or a Real Madrid video or was it on stream or whatever. I definitely spoke, spoke about this to some of you guys. Is that we know that Vinny Sessione and Benzema's place are fixed. I don't think they can be replaced. Um, I think Vinny Sessione Jr. can be here for another decade. That's how good he is. And Benzema, he'll be here for another two to three seasons, I think. I think that's when he'll think of potentially either going to a site like Inter Miami where you know you're at that age right where you just want to earn the money play a couple of games which let's be honest doesn't really matter the MLS right but you know what I mean like older players often go to the MLS before retiring so Benzema could do that or he could just retire the club um, because no matter what he does after he, he spell at Real Madrid not spell but he's Fantastic career at Real Madrid. I think that we all know that he's one of in our one of our best players. I don't, I don't necessarily think he's the best player of all time for Real Madrid, but he's one of our best players of all time. And I think he's one of our best signings. Well, not best. I mean, when when he came in, he wasn't the the big big Ronaldo signing, but he came in and he did the job. Right. That's what we need. And that's what teams are lacking these days. I think that not only this going for like a marquee signing, but they need to get in players that can do the job. But I'm big names. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, um, we were talking about that as well. Um, where, where was I? Uh, yeah, we were talking about um, Vinny and Benzema not being re re cannot be replaced. And then there was the right hand side. I was like, we have a couple of good players. Rodrigo, Asensio, Azad, he can definitely play on the right. Bale, maybe even Lucas Vasquez. We have got some solid options. I don't know if Vasquez is going to play right wing because our right back is kind of. Um, lacking. I mean, the only right back I can think of is Carvajal and Marvin Park. So Vasquez is definitely going to cover that spot. So we're left with four. Asensio, Azad, Rodrigo, and um, Bell. Bell probably doesn't even, probably isn't going to even play a single game. Right, he's still out. So we're left with three. Rodrigo, would you want to play a, a, a guy who is super young, good potential in Rodrigo? He hasn't proven himself like Vinny did. Asensio, a bit of experience, still young, or Azad, who has a very, very good experience, good at quite at Chelsea, but hasn't been great at all for us. I think I'm not sure I'll take Asensio, personally. I mean, we are looking at Azad. I would want to give Azad chances and games, but if that means I give him a chance, or whoever the manager, not me, but if the manager gives him a chance, he will have to perform, I would say, 100% yes, because we know when Eden Hazard performs, he's Eden Hazard on another level. Right? So I'll take it all day long. 
then Asensio, and then Rodrigo, I think. So Asensio currently probably has that spot um, for him. And the thing is, would he guarantee that if we do, let's say, sign an Mbappe, a Haaland, Adiemi, for example, I'm not saying that we will definitely sign them, but what if we do go out and sign them? Would Asensio get a spot? No, definitely not. So, um, I think that, you know, going to a side like maybe Arsenal would be a nice one. Or probably Dortmund would find one for him. AC Milan, Inter Milan, Juve. There's, uh, there's plenty of options for him to get game time. I mean, I'll, I'm not going to discuss every single team he's linked with because we can make this a 45 minute podcast. If you guys want to see a podcast, then do let me know in the comments section below. Um, but I'm probably not going to make one, but you know what I mean. I guess. But, yeah, I think that Asensio, if he does want to play more for Real Madrid here, have to perform, which I think he did quite well today. Or he'll probably have to leave, to be fair, if he wants to get game time for himself. But yeah, um, I think this was um, a bit more of a disappointing defensive performance, but offensively we were very good. And that's what happened against Shakhtar, right? The goal we considered was stunning. I think Falcao's goal was not uh, not a nice goal to concede, right? I think defensively we were poor, but it's a header, right? I mean, winning a header isn't always easy, but you expect defend better defending. To let the cross come in, to let him get out to the end of it. It's just a bit poor. Um, but yeah, that is all I've got to say. Um, first, am I going to say anything else for me? Personally, no. Um, but Cruz can still do it. All I've got to say is that, pretty much. I think that the defense will probably look to send a center back in a genuine window. Um, I think that. Well, what else am I going to think? I think that might be it, actually. But yeah, yeah, I think that might actually be it. I, I just don't know. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. I haven't slept, so don't blame me. Um, I have to get this video out as well before I go to sleep, right? Anyways, that is going to be on today's review. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the game. Um, subscribe to the channel because on already. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Say it the wrong way around, but I don't care. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!